Are we good? We're on? All right, what's up, guys? This video is about how to sleep better at night. I'm going to give you some tips. Hopefully, they help you out. They really should. Uh, I used to be an insomniac, hardcore insomniac. Had it about seven years. I was medical. It was chronic. Slept about four nights a week. Um, I was underweight. I was sick. I was miserable all the time. Uh, it's not fun. So, you know, if you're... Whether it's chronic or it's just, you know, been a few days or a few weeks, uh, these tips will help you out. Uh, so, here we go. First tip. Listen, if you need to be asleep at 11 p.m., then you need to begin that process of going to sleep at 9 p.m., so two hours prior. So, use these numbers, you know, accordingly, like, like to, to your life. This is just an example. Okay, so, you need to be asleep at 11 p.m., well, then at 9 p.m., your day is done, all right? You've done everything you need to do, uh, and the process of being asleep by 11 p.m. has begun. So, what do you need to do? You need to, you know, turn the lights off, all right? Your melatonin levels are raised at night. Uh, the hormones inside you that help your body chill out and go to sleep. If you got all the lights on, you're going to interrupt that process, all right? So lights are off, okay? Tip number two, uh, your cell phone needs to shut up. Shut that phone up because if uh, all these notifications and whatever, social media and text messages, if all this stuff's going off, uh, it's not going to help you sleep. It's going to interrupt you. It's going to stress you out. So uh, take care of that phone however you need to. Uh, next tip, temperature. Make sure you're comfortable, right? If you need it to be colder, warmer, make the adjustments. If your balcony door needs to be open, if air conditioning needs to be on, if you need a thicker blanket, thinner blanket, whatever. Make sure you're comfortable. How are you going to sleep if you're not comfortable, right? Next tip. Uh, it's cool to fall asleep watching something on your laptop. So a lot of articles will say it's not. It is. Here's what I would say. Uh, and again, this is from experience. So. If you're going to fall asleep with something on your laptop, make sure the screen isn't too bright, okay? If it's your laptop and it's right next to you and it's like right here, don't have it be too bright. That's going to be way worse than having all the lights on. Uh, so you might have to dim that brightness a little bit and that's okay. Uh, and if you fall asleep watching TV, cool. Make sure it's the right, you know, volume. It's not too loud to where it's, it's interrupting your sleep. Uh, not too quiet though where you're like, what the hell, I can't even hear this. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, um, laptop, TV, whatever it is. And as far as what you watch, I would say watch something that you can engage in because you want to be focused on it. You want to be thinking about the past or the future. You want to be just, you want your mind to chill. So watch something you can actually be present in and enjoy. It's engaging, but not something that you're going to end up binge watching all night, right? That's not, that's going to be counterproductive. So yeah, that's that. And the last thing I'll say for the tips in this video about how to sleep better at night is uh, don't be afraid to take a melatonin supplement. I'm, that's, that's all right. Um, if you're gonna take a sleeping pill, make it melatonin, okay? Uh, just take one pill. Um, they sell different, you know, gram size, milligram sizes. I think there's like five milligram, 10 milligram, three milligram, whatever. Uh, but you never need more than one pill, probably. So you can do that. If you do do it, you know, take it two hours before you think you should be asleep. Maybe 90 minutes. I don't know. Experiment. Everyone's a little bit different. So those are the tips. Hope they work. Give them a shot. Your sleep is really, really important. Oh, wait, damn, I forgot. One more tip. Uh, don't go to sleep starving. I don't care what anyone says, you know? Don't go to sleep super hungry. How are you gonna sleep if you're laying in bed, uh, your stomach rumbling and just being super hungry? That's not ideal. So, and again, that should be taken care of by 9 p.m. Your day is done by 9. Teeth brush, everything. Begin that process of going to sleep, guys, okay? Your sleep's important. Do what you can to make sure you're getting the best night's sleep. Sometimes it sucks. I know we sleep for a third of our lives. Well. Insomniacs probably sleep less than that, but yeah, take it seriously because your lack of sleep is affecting you in ways you don't even know. So, thanks for watching. Sleep better. Peace.